Hi, it's Rob from Rob Stewart Photography again. This is my second video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to spin a uh, wire wool as seen in the pictures on the intro to this vid. Um, equipment needed one nail bolt battery, one chain, or any metal lined wire such as a washing line, anything like that, and a whisk. Um, this one's a bit battered. Two years old though. Cheap ones, they'll do. And of course the the wall that you need to achieve the effect is just fine grade wire wool. Uh, you can use medium grade uh, but it does burn a little bit slower. It still works um, and you can get this from b &Q. it's about £2.50 for a big roll um, about so big last year. Depending on how often you do it at last year well. Right, firstly, I'll show you how to do it. So you get your 9 volt battery and you get your wire wool and you literally touch the terminals on the wool and as you can see, it's that simple. It burns. Um, now, when you're packing it into a whisk, uh, you need you need a decent amount to uh, create all the uh, trails that you get, as you can see. So you want about 15, 10 to 15 centimetres. When you do it, you need to open the wool out to give it a bit of air, like so. Get your whisk and fold it, literally just pack it inside your whisk. I'll quickly do that. Until you've got something that resembles that. You might want to unpack it a bit more. If you've got a new whisk, there's a bit more room. Um, but squash it down a little bit so it doesn't come out when you're spinning. Um, you attach, it, attach a wire just to the end. And there you go. So you get your spin. Like so. Um, one, in fact, a couple of tips if you're spinning wire wool. Uh, don't do it near any cars. Um, as I've made the mistake, I, the very first time I did it, all the bits stuck to my window and I've got still got bits of wire wool in the window now um, and secondly don't do it near any of your camera lenses make sure your camera's a distance away or you can get a cheap UV fil filter just stick on the front to protect your camera and your lenses um, so now I'll show you a spin and I'll give you a demo let's go outside I'll just do a quick spin and show you what it looks like it's actually lit battery, light your wool there you have it There you go, as demonstrated, it's that simple. Uh, I know the picture from the garden uh, demo wasn't that good, it's because it's not that dark. Um, but as you can see from the photos at the beginning there, you can get some pretty cool effects using the wire wool. Uh, if you are going to do it, which I recommend you do, beginners, uh, experienced people will know it's such good fun. Wear a hat so you don't burn your hair, you don't want that to happen. Don't do it near any cars, don't do it near anything flammable. and. I'd probably recommend getting a UV filter for the front of your lens just so you don't do any damage. Could be a costly mistake. Uh, other than that, no, get out there, give it a try. Um, the links to my pages, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, are all below. Uh, or you can comment on the YouTube page. Any questions, drop me a line. And thanks for watching.